Hello, I'm Skibidi Toilet. With me are Parker and Chester. Hi, guys. Good morning. In today's video, we're going to show you behind the scenes of a life of luxury, and we're gonna tell you all the little secrets they have. Come on, Skibidi. We agreed before the video that we were not going to say everything. Do you have secrets you want to hide from us? No, no, we don't have. Good. Okay, question number one. Does Chester really like to play Roblox, or is it just a character he plays toilet? He is really like that. Today, I needed to turn off the power in our house because he didn't want to stop playing Roblox and came here. Frick you, Parker. I was playing Adopt Me, and my pet was about to reach level 8. I feel your pain, Chester. Okay, now tell me how you guys get those crazy people in the videos. Well, it's not hard because America is full of crazy people. But we typically find them on Craigslist or Facebook pages. We offer them $7 for an hour and an additional $20 if they have an old house we can record inside. I see Skibidi. Does their houses really look like trash or do you decorate it with your own stuff? Most of them are not, so we need to take all of their trash, I mean all of their stuff, and put inside our own furniture. We get those in the garbage. And also we need to buy a lot of foil for painting and place it in the house, so it would look scary. I see, but some of those houses look terrible. I remember from one video that there was a hole in the ground in the wardrobe. Did you guys make it just for the video? Well, that hole is another separate story. As I said, most of the people we rent for the video are weirdos. And in this particular case, the owner of that house was a very big weirdo. Chester wanted to use the bathroom, but we couldn't see any in the house. So we asked the owner where the toilet was, and he said that we couldn't use his toilet because he was afraid of our bacteria. Chester, maybe you can tell us what you have done after. Okay. Well, this house was a total trash, and the owner was not nice, and I needed to poop really bad. There was a winter at that time, and outside it was like minus 30 degrees and snow, so I decided to make the hole in the ground and use it as a toilet. We also needed it for the content, so it does two useful things. So you just shit it to someone's wardrobe? Well, no. Underneath was a basement, so the poop fell into the basement. Okay, thank you for the clarification. Speaking about pooping, on the videos we often see that you poop in people's gardens before you enter the house. What is going on with that? Is that just for the content, or did you really feel the need to shit in someone's garden? Well, I've got a fast metabolism, and I also like to do it in the open air. Do you even clean after yourself? No, I don't. Dogs and cats don't clean after themselves, and their poop decomposes in the ground. The place of poop is in the toilet. Then you are poop. You literally are in the toilet. Okay, don't be so smart. Parker, I have another question for you. Why is it that every time you visit the house, there is a young girl who has problems with her daddy? Well, I don't know, but I think young chicks trust me and want to meet me, so they write to me about their problems and me and Chester come to their houses to help them. But you just said that you rent people to act in your videos. Yes, this is also true. Sometimes we rent them and sometimes there are true stories and then we don't have to pay them money because they really have a monster in their house. For example, in the video with Candace, she writes to us about her son and we go there and it really is true. Okay, but tell me why every time this ends like a disaster, instead of helping them, you make it worse and end up running out of the house. Well, it's all because of Chester, because he does not listen to me. And every time he goes his own path, we end up splitting in the house. And then when we are not together, monsters have an advantage and want to kill us. No, no, no. It's all because of you, Parker. Because you always want to sleep one more night in the house. And when it is very bad, you want to record everything to have content. And we end up escaping. Okay, I understand toilets, but what if you're actually using people and their houses from Craigslist? Are you just faking escaping? We escape because the owner of the house is acting weird, or if he wants more money, then we just escape in the night and end up not paying them. Okay, that's rational. Another question that comes to my mind is, why are you guys always sleeping together? Aren't you guys like 30 years old? Well, we sleep together mainly because the owner has only one bedroom for the guests, so we need to sleep together. But even if somehow the owner got two empty bedrooms with beds, I don't think we could sleep separately because Chester is scared to sleep alone. Chester, why are you scared to sleep alone? Do you also sleep with Parker in your home? I'm scared because those people are weirdos. And even if we make it up, it's still scary because whenever we enter the house, we cut the electricity and there is no light. So I'm scared that someone will come to me in the night and hurt me. And no, we do not normally sleep together. I sleep alone with my teddy bear and the lights on in my own bedroom. 
Okay, I see. Parker, I have a question for you from the other toilet. We often see that you pick up the girls from your videos. How many girls have you had and how many girls have you picked up because you are a famous YouTuber? Well, you need to count the number of videos and divide it by two because not in every video there is a hot chick. In one video, there was a guy claiming that he was a hot girl with a big bologna. So this was the answer to your first question. And the answer to the second is a lot. Girls like YouTubers and money, but not every girl is like that. Okay, and the same question to you, Chester. I don't pick up girls. That's cringeworthy, and I don't need to. I have a girlfriend from Roblox, and we communicate very well. We also play Roblox together. She doesn't even know that I'm a YouTuber. So you never meet her? No, but we want to meet next year in real life. Chester, I have told you many times, and I will tell you again. She is not real. It's some dude who is scamming you. In those days, you could create the voice of any human and use it on the internet. I'm pretty sure he's using the fake voice of some girl to scam you and laugh at you. Frick you! You are just jealous! She is real! I showed you a picture of her! She has big balloons, and you are just jealous because none of your girls except this dude who catfishes you didn't have that big balloon! Okay, okay, you will see in the future. Toyot Skibidi, do you have any more questions? Indeed, yes. I have another question for Chester. In the last video, we saw a grandmother named Gloria who claimed that you impregnated her. Is that true, Chester, or did you do it just for the views? No, it's not true. The truth is just that I met her. Me and my Roblox girlfriend, who, for safety reasons, I will not say her name, got into a big argument and we broke out, so I was really sad and depressed and I opened Tinder and started to look for another girlfriend. After 20 hours of liking the photos of girls and sending them messages, finally one girl replied to me. She was gorgeous in the photos. I have never seen beauty like that. She had long legs, long blonde hair, big balloons, and a nice face. So we chatted for a while and she proposed a meeting. I agreed and went to the place she proposed. It was her house. I left the car and messaged her that I was there. And then the door of that house opened, and some old grandmother came and said to me, Chester, finally you came. Then I realized that it was a woman that I was messaging with. She said that she was 22, but in reality, she was 82. I quickly got back in the car and drove away at high speed. Later in the week, she wrote an email to Parker saying that she was impregnated with me, and we went to her house to set up cameras. She ended up pooping out the baby, and as we all know from the video, this was not my baby because the baby was a freaking monster. So no, I did not touch her. She probably got pregnant with someone else, probably with some monster. Oh, thank you for sharing with us this story, Chester. And also, thank you for this toilet interview. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe because more videos will come. Bye bye, ski ski, bidi di toy toy toiletten.